Hi everyone. Hope you all are doing well. As committed, we have come to guide you about all India medical counseling process. And as we already discussed that the counseling process begin just after the NEET UG result. So what will be the procedure after NEET UG result? Don't worry, we'll be discussing each and everything about all India medical counseling process will be conducted by DGHS on the website of MCC that is www.mcc.nic.in so keep checking MCC website regularly what we need to do there what would be the steps those i'm just telling you just note down them after meet ug result you have to go to the MCC website and after registration, you need to pay the registration amount plus security amount. At the time of registration, there will be several options to choose. What these options are? Have a look on the screen. AIQ, AIMS, JIPMAR, ESIC, AFMC, Central Universities and the deemed universities. Whichever options you will choose, Accordingly, you will get the list of relevant colleges and from those colleges, you can go for the choice filling and accordingly, you need to just pay the amount there also for the registration process. From the available options, except for the deemed universities, the security amount is 10,000 rupees and the registration amount is 1000 rupees. While if you're talking about the deemed university, then amount will be changed. It will be 5,000 rupees the registration amount and 2 lakh rupees the security amount. Now, after the submission, you have to fill the choice of the college of your interest in top to bottom order for the round one. And one thing is very, very important that there is no limitation of filling the choices. You can just fill maximum number of the colleges of your choice for round one. After filling the choices, it is important to lock your choices and submit. After three, four days, you will get the round one college allocation list where on the MCC website only, you have to log in using your credentials. Now what next? If in the round one, you are getting a college, then you have two choices. Either you are willing to join that college or you are not willing to join that college. If you're willing to join that college, you have to report to the college and you have to submit your original documents. Further, for round two, you are also eligible for updation. Now, the second condition is if you are not willing to join that college, then what next? You are eligible for round two. Once again, you don't need to register once again. You have already registered for the round one. You can directly go to the round two if you are willing. Now, let's talk about round two. For the round two, once again, you have to go to the MCC website for filling up the choices once again. And what about the choices of the round one? They are null and void now. So you have to choose the choices once again. You have to lock your choices and submit. Wait for two, three days. And then once again, you'll be getting a list of college allocation. Further in the round two, if you are getting a college and if you are just willing to take admission, you have to report to the respective college with your original documents. What if you don't want to report to allotted college. You are eligible to exit for four feature of security. And one thing is very, very important. After joining the college in round two, you're not eligible for any further round of counseling. So now we talked about the most important round one and round two of all India medical counseling. What next? The next thing is the two more important rounds. The one is mop-up round, another is the stray vacancy round. Fresh registration and the choice filling will be there for mop-up round. And do you know, the same choice filling and the fresh registration will be applicable for stray vacancy round as well. Now, the everything which we discussed for round one and round two will also be applicable here. So the process would be same. But we have to just focus on very important thing that few of the candidates are not eligible for mop-up round and the stray vacancy round. What these are? For mop-up round, 
Candidates who joined the allotted seat in round 2 are not eligible for mop up round. And what about stray vacancy round? Candidates who joined the allotted seat in round 2 at mop up. Candidates allotted a seat in mop up round of MCC and not reported. Further, the candidates who have not registered in any of the previous three rounds will not be eligible for stray vacancy round. So what next? Remaining process, the procedure, the choice filling, the registration, everything is same as that was there in round one and round two, I've already told you. So in the end, it's my advice to keep a watch on the official website. What is that? www.mcc.nic.in All the required details will be published there only. So, thank you so much for watching and all the very best and I hope you all are going to get a very good seat of your choice.